Okay, Bradford friends, we're going to talk about your real estate market today. What we're going to do, like my other videos, we're going to have a look at the most current month we have in the Toronto Real Estate Board stats, which is March 2021. We're going to compare that with what happened a year ago in March 2020, and then we'll have a look at the month before in February as well. So uh, in Bradford, number of total home sales uh, across all home types was 53, and that was a year ago. Now, I'm going to break these stats up a little bit. So in February 2021, we had 169 new listings coming on the market we had 106 sales and left remaining were 72 active listings so generally how that's going to work the math is new listings uh, minus the sales equals the active listings it doesn't always work out like that because there's uh, cancellations and relists and things like that so the active number necessarily won't reflect but um, where I wanted to to show you the contrast is what we're looking at in March 2021. So we had 206 new listings come on the market. We had 140 sales and 100 uh, active listings left over after the monthly sales happened. So we, we are starting to see that inventory levels are beginning to rise. We are seeing that there is more inventory hanging around, which is uh, represented by the active listings here. So there is more inventory. So this is, is good news for buyers. Um, average sale price in Bradford a year ago across all home types. Now this is condo sales semis, towns, links, detached, condos, absolutely everything, uh, 737,000. 983,000 in February 2021 and currently we cracked the million in Bradford for March 21 with an average sale price of a million 29,000. Uh, sales to new listings ratio could also be referred to as the absorption rate and what that tells us is out of the homes coming on the market each month what is the percentage that are actually selling so a year ago 53 percent of the homes coming on the market sold in Bradford uh, in February of this year, 62% of the homes coming on the market sold and 68% of the homes coming on the market in March 2021 sold. So in terms of what's a buyer's market, what's a seller's market, um, generally when we're in the you know 50 to 60 range, we're, we're what would be in a balanced market where, um, where supply is meeting the demand. Um, below 50, typically you're in a, um, a buyer's market and then over 60, uh, you're getting into a seller's market there. So we are still seeing strong buyer activity um, and that's being represented in your months of inventory as well. So months of inventory uh, tells us that um, if no other homes came on the market after today at the current rate of buying, um, how long would it take to deplete the current uh, inventory level? So a year ago, 1.5 months, and we're just under half that now in February, and we're maintaining it um, at 0.7 for uh, March. But again, keep in mind that you had more listings come on the market by probably 20% in uh, in March from February. So with this to be holding steady, there is a lot of buyer activity still. Um, sale price to list price ratio, homes selling just under asking uh, a year ago, uh, 109%. So homes selling 9% over asking in February, currently trending at 107% of asking. Uh, days on market to get a home sold a year ago, 12 and we're seven in February and currently trending at 11. Now, I, I want to also point out, I just want to circle back for a sec to March 2020. If you remember, we were at the beginning of the COVID market uh, back then. So from March 15th to April 1st, 2020, the real estate uh, industry in general, the market really took a pause. I mean, we saw an immediate drought of, of um, listing inventory because a lot of sellers, uh, well, a lot of people in general were, were sort of just unsure and uncertain about what was what we were going to be experiencing. So a lot of homes came off the market. Um, so I'm not surprised to see the, the low number of sales. I don't think it's an accurate reflection if it was a typical year. Um, now, what's in this for buyers and sellers? For sellers right now, we're still seeing an active market. Um, again, we are seeing inventory levels climb, so I don't, I don't feel that you're in a market where you can really play around with price too much um, because there is going to be a lot of uh, competition for you out there and we're beginning to see more houses come on the market. Um, so, you know, it's certainly... Uh, you know, you might want to pick a couple strategies. I mean, if you're if you were planning on uh, holding offers with your house, talking to your agent, um, you know, we're not seeing offer presentation dates always be successful. We're starting to see offers come in with conditional on financing and home inspection at this point. Uh, for buyers right now, um, this is encouraging. Again, we are seeing more inventory come on the market and we're seeing more inventory hanging around. So um, again, we're seeing the uh, multiple offers and the bidding slow a little bit just naturally. 
Um, so I, I think you're going to see that this uh, inventory levels are going to continue to rise and this is going to be good news and hopefully for buyers out there that are experiencing a little buyer fatigue, um, you know, that have been through a few offer presentations, hopefully this is your time. So I hope you found this information helpful. If I may answer any questions at all, uh, please feel free to shoot me a DM or I'll put a link in where we can book a call. Take care.